Do you think there's something outside of the capabilities of a computer that is present in our universe? You have a disagreement with Roger Penrose yes. about the nature of consciousness. He d he thinks that consciousness is more than just a computation. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you think all of it, the whole shebang, is a can be can be a computation? Yeah, I've had many fascinating debates with uh, uh, Sir Roger Penrose, and obviously he's he's famously and and I read you know Emperors of the New Mind and and um, and his books, uh, his classical books, uh, and they they were pretty influential in the you know in the nineties. And um, he believes that there's something more, you know, something quantum that is needed to explain consciousness and the brain. Um, I think about what we're doing actually at DeepMind and what my career is being, we're almost like Turing's champion. So we are pushing Turing machines or classical computation to the limits. What are the limits of what classical computing can do? Now, um, and at the same time, I've also studied neuroscience to see, and that's why I did my PhD in, was to see also to look at, you know, is there anything quantum in the brain from a neuroscience or biological perspective? And um, and so far, I think most neuroscientists and most mainstream biologists and neuroscientists would say there's no evidence of any quantum uh, systems or effects in the brain. As far as we can see, it's it can be mostly explained by classical uh, classical theories. So. Uh, and then, so there's sort of the, the the search from the biology side, and then at the same time, there's the raising of the water uh, at the bar from what classical Turing machines can do, uh, uh, and 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 you know, including our new AI systems. And uh, as you alluded to earlier, um, you know, I think AI, especially in the last decade plus, has been a continual story now of surprising. Uh, events uh, and surprising successes, knocking over one theory after another of what was thought to be impossible, you know, from Go to protein folding and so on. And so I think um, I would be very hesitant to bet against how far the uh, universal Turing machine and classical computation paradigm can go. And, and my betting would be that all of certainly what's going on in our brain uh, can probably be mimicked or or approximated on a on a classical machine um not you know not requiring something metaphysical or or quantum and we'll get there with some of the work with alphafold which i think begins the journey of modeling this beautiful and complex world of biology mm. so you think all the magic of the human mind comes from this just a few pounds of mush of a biological computational mush that's akin to some of the neural networks, not directly, but in spirit that uh, DeepMind has been working with? Well, look, I think it's, um, you say it's a few, you know, of course, it's this is the, I think, the biggest miracle of the universe is that um, it is just a few pounds of mush in our skulls. Yeah. And yet it's also our brains are the most complex objects in the in, that we know of in the universe. So there's something profoundly beautiful and amazing about our brains. And I think that it's an incredibly uh, uh incredible f efficient machine and and uh uh, uh and it's, a, it's you know phenomenon basically and i think that building ai one of the reasons i want to build ai and i've always wanted to is i think by building an intelligent artifact like ai and then comparing it to the human mind um that will help us unlock the uniqueness and the true secrets of the mind that we've always wondered about since the dawn of history, like consciousness, dreaming, uh, creativity, uh, uh, or emotions. What are all these things, right? We've 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 wondered about them since since the dawn of humanity. And I think one of the reasons, and you know, I love philosophy and philosophy of mind is we we found it difficult is there haven't been the tools for us to really other than introspection mm -hmm. to from very clever people in, in in history very clever philosophers to really investigate this scientifically but now suddenly we have a plethora of tools firstly we have all of the neuroscience tools fmri machines single cell recording all of this stuff but we also have the ability computers and ai to build uh intelligent systems so i think that um uh you know i think it is amazing what the human mind does and um and and I, I'm kind of in awe of it, really. And uh, and I think it's amazing that with our human minds, we're able to build things like computers and and actually even you know think and investigate about these questions. I think that's also a testament to the human mind. Yeah, the universe built the human mind that now is building computers that help us understand both the universe and our own human mind. That's right. That's exactly it. I mean, I think that's one. You know, one could say we we are. Maybe we're the mechanism by which the universe is going to try and understand itself.